Hey, Carrie here. Hey, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a review today on my new palette expander. Um, to be honest with you, this has been the worst device ever, ever. I mean, I had braces for years and this thing is just way worse. Um, my voice is altered horribly. Um, well, let me um, do a close up and show you what it looks like. Okay, um, what it's going to do is see how my, um, with my orthotic in the lower, you can see where my teeth are supposed to be, it's going to pull my upper teeth over my lower teeth in this position. So, I've got a really long way to go with this thing. It is really, really uncomfortable and food keeps getting stuck in the top. And it's so hard to clean this thing. My gosh, it's just hard, and I'm not liking it. As you can tell, my voice is horrible. Um, I actually had to work on Friday, the day after I got this, and I was so embarrassed because I didn't want to talk. It was just ugh, horrible because I had the orthotic, too. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit more about this, though. Um, I have molar bands on my first molar. On my first premolar, I have... Um, kind of like filling material, cementing a wire on that tooth, that tooth, and the two first premolars. Now, I have a hanging wire. It's going out toward my second molars that I guess we're going to probably put on in another month or two. Um, actually, I was going to get my upper braces next month, but I reminded him that I was missing the second premolar on the top, not the first. So, we really can't open this space yet. We could have opened this one, though. But I want I want the spaces that I'm missing to be the spaces that are reopened. Um, so far, I'm starting to notice a little tiny, tiny space right here that I never had before. I'm hoping that I'm only in this thing for six months. I think that's what they quoted me at the beginning. So, I'm hoping I'm, I only have to turn it once a week. Um, children are, can turn these twice a week because their growth plates work a little bit better than mine. That's what he was explaining to me that I still have growth plates that can, that can work. It's just we can't do it too fast. Um, oh, I have a lot of pain up here. Which I think it's kind of a good pain though because for so many years these molars were sinking in like that. So we're just trying to pull them back to where they're supposed to be. So it's not it's not as bad as it that it could be. This device is just so annoying though. Oh, and one thing I was kinda upset about about this whole thing is we couldn't get the molar van on on this side. So he grinded down the back of my tooth and altered the shape of it. And I'm kinda upset about that because it was like my last molar. It didn't have a filling. It just had a sealant on it. But now the back of it's kinda like odd shaped. I'm gonna show you. See how it's like not straight across shaped anymore? Um, this tooth right here, I, I'm just a little disappointed. I know I can never get my tooth back now that it's been shaved down. Um, but I am going to say, I do not want another tooth ever shaved because it just doesn't even, the shape's off now. It's not natural, and I'm really not really happy about that. Um, oh, the day I got this thing, I was so upset because it's just so uncomfortable. Um, I can't even describe. Um... But anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. Probably the next video in the dental side I'll make, or close to, will be tightening this. I have the key. i got to turn it once a week. So I'll probably be the next video on this. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, have a great day. Aloha.